Alright, I think we're up now. Sorry. There we go. I need everything set up again. There we go. I think we're good. Um, I'm going through and trying to get everything figured out again. I have a lot of bits and stuff that I gotta figure out. Yeah, I know I'm late. Shush. I'm working on it. for this project. Hey, Jason. Nope, don't need that. AT is already trying to magnetize to the base. There. Got some sorcerers to go with my Zangors, and I have two Karn the Betrayer in bags. Um, quite a while today, probably a good eight hours. I got a late start, but the amount of work I have to do hasn't changed, so. <laughs> when I, I think I'm going to work on these seekers first, because they're almost done, but not quite. Screamers, screamers, not seekers. I would say it backwards. I don't know why. I'm trying to make sure I have all this stuff. I think this is for one sorcerer. This is for another one. Yeah, there are two of them here. So I'm missing one bag of stuff. I haven't decided how I'm going to do the... I might have to actually do some airbrushing. I haven't decided if I'm going to do... Because there are... You can see there are a ton of bits for the uh, sorcerers. I haven't decided if I'm going to do... Uh, just airbrushing on all of it. And then go in and fill it in. Or what? Anyway. Move all this to the side for now. the focus, but there we go. Some screamers. So this should be fun. Um, they're actually all magnetized, so I could do this. Because uh, they only come with one disc, but then this way I can be riding them into battle. That's a little too close. There we go. So I'll be painting them today for a little bit. Still got the Zangors to do, but for now, this will work. Alright. 
my palette. Silver on the eyes because I'm going to do a, a gem paint. But I got to do the eyes and then I got to wait for it to dry so I can do a line right down the middle. Normally I'd fill it in all the way, but this time I'm trying not to so that you get that shadow in the recess of the eye. a brown, like a light brown on all the horns. Now I'll do a dark brown. I'll do a dark brown. As I'm going to layer them up. <laughs> I'm sorry, four color. Yeah, you. So you took the name panda. That'll be cool when uh, when she actually starts streaming. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. I think it was because everybody uh, was talking yesterday about when she gets back that uh, that you'd see her on the other side. Not doing any of the underside spikes because there's really no reason. You're never gonna see them. I totally understand, like it on the inside of Imperial Knights, I totally understand why people take the time to get a cockpit. Hey Jengor. To get a cockpit and to paint the guy inside, but <laughs> if you have to like with a model like this, if you have to point out the details that you took the time to paint, then you shouldn't have painted them. Especially with that new Start Collecting Zinch box, I have a feeling I'm going to paint a bunch of these on stream. They're a really nice little thing to do as a giveaway, too, because I can paint them up really quick on stream with the airbrush, like you can see. And they look good, um, so they wouldn't be a bad giveaway. Some painted ones. I just paint some extra when I paint some of mine. These are for the same guy I'm doing the Zangors for. I'm trying to get them done before I take off on the 24th. I don't know, I do not know if I'll succeed, but I'm gonna try.
So what's everybody up to on Friday? Um, I don't, yes, and, well, I don't know, let me see, let me finish this, and let me go through my sales, or, uh, my, uh, purchase history, and see. Yeah, a long weekend will be nice. I don't have a normal job, though, so I don't get a long weekend. If I don't work, I don't get paid. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna have one of those if I ever get married. I just don't have enough guy friends. Well, friends in general, I'm a hermit, so I'm glad I went with that dark color. The nice part is it's already pretty much dry, so I can go into the uh, next color. Alright. Now I'm going to do the lighter brown. thin this pretty well. I might have to do a couple thin coats. Then the one thick base coat I just did. <laughs> yeah, your sister would be either be surprisingly good at it or a complete fool. I think both of them would be entertaining. You'll notice I'm not trying to be accurate. I'm, I'm relying on the jaggedness of my brush strokes. So some of them are further down than the others. This is like layer two out of like five, but. It's only important on the longest ones to do this. You don't have to worry about the uh, the little ones that are, you know, all over the place. Because they don't have enough definition to do anything to anyway, so. And see, you can see it's drying pretty dark on the dark brown. I'm painting something uh, that's quick because I can can actually talk to you guys about what I'm doing. The repetitive stuff is what gets me. Doing a double coat, but only on the really big horns. Alright, let that dry. Then I'm going to switch to... I think a Zandri dust this time. I know it's another base, but the color's right.
Alright, I'm going to try to be a little more careful here. I said broken, broken points, so you don't have to be... You don't, you actually don't want that nice crisp line. A nice crisp line won't, uh, won't help. You'll be able to see it really easily and it won't look very good. On, uh, the little ones, you can't avoid that, so just go where you can. Don't have to hit all of them, just a few. It's funny, these uh, top points here, I uh, I wasn't able to, well, I didn't let dry, so I'm doing some accidental wet blending and that's not a bad thing. yesterday all the sneezing <laughs> now here's a good example you can see those jagged edges that's what you want to do now the more layers you do like this, um, and the thinner they are, the more uh, smooth the transition will be, but it's a pretty good way of doing it. It's a technique you can use on all horns in general, um, but spiky horns like this are, are better. Um, you know, some sort of growth on chaos spawn or some sort of crazy chaos mutation um, tends to do better because it's not natural. Natural horns tend to have some sort of boning on them. Um, that's why on the Zangors, like, where is he? Like this guy. I did it a lot more rigid. And just picked out the top areas. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to switch. Actually, I'm going to give it a second to dry. I'm going to switch to a black. I'm going to do an ice right down the center of each of these lids here. Just like that. He's already looking creepy. <laughs> My black isn't mixed, so I have to uh, put more on the palette. The key is to try to do it right in the middle, so it looks really creepy. And just a straight line. It doesn't have to be completely flat. Um, this is great for... This is actually really great for spiders, too. <laughs> like, uh... Yeah, I got one a little off, but now it just looks like one of the eyes is looking off. That's nice creepy. And then you can add whatever technical paint you want. Um, Games Workshop has all it has red, blue, and green. I'm actually going to do a yellow on these, but you can choose whatever color you want. That's the reason I did the silver. Um, now I'm going to add a brighter white. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a, a skin color. Uh, Kiss Love Flesh. With the, uh, with the other colors, it'll actually mesh well. 
And it looks a little pink when you uh, have it in the pot, but it won't look quite so pink once it's on the model. Besides, I'm doing this in a really thin layer anyway. So it's just to pick out those fine details. Hey, Lemonnier, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. There we go. Just on the tip, just to brighten it up even more. And I'm all doing doing on the front ones too, so. See, it's only on the biggest points, but there you go. Pretty good, just four colors. <laughs> no, no pun intended, four color. <laughs> it's funny, but yeah, you can see the four I used. And you can go with the pure white on the tips if you wanted to, but that's as far as I'm going to go for this one. But just add something, you know. That's it for how to do the horns and the eyes on these. I'll probably do a bunch of uh, different videos on how to do the the coloring because I have a lot of different ideas on how to do the coloring. Uh, that's it. 